Hey guys, this is Mike here from Ball and Bowers, and I just wanted to show you guys um, another lockup here. So my male Nicaraguan, and you see him right here on top. My male Nicaraguan is um, locking up with my uh, female BCI Colombian Het Annery, and as you see, guys, um, he has his tail locked up with hers, and he's trying. Um, Basically to uh, induce her into basically letting him, um, you know, get under there and uh, basically get some full penetration going and uh, hopefully um, get what needs to be done, guys, so we can get some great babies. But as you see, guys, he is really, really trying to uh, lock up here. And what's awesome is I have two females and one male in this enclosure, and he has been working them both on and off, guys. And see, this this is a female right here. And this is Dottie, and he's already worked her a couple days ago. And right now he is working Empress. And Empress is um, this female right here. Here's Empress's head. So that's Empress, and then the, Mic the Nicaraguan uh, head is right there next to her. So uh, as you see, guys, back to over here, he is really, really trying to lock up right here, guys. So... It's awesome sign, guys, and I'm really super, super, super excited. I don't sound it right now because I'm trying to, you know, I want to be quiet. I don't want to, you know, um, really uh, disturb uh, this guy right here doing his business, but I'm super excited, guys. We have lockup here with Empress right now. We had we had lockups right with uh, Dottie right here a few days ago and also a few weeks ago, and then we have um, a confirmed Hopefully a confirmed uh, gravid female right here with the possible super hypo. And then as you know guys, we had lockups over there with the albino cow male and Helen the hypo. And um, so, you know guys, we already have four females breeding this season and we still, we still have one more female to go. And that's the female Nicaraguan dwarf. She's about six foot, her name's Midnight, and she's not going to be going until about the 25th. Of this month because um, like I said I did I did have to give her some antibiotics so she got her last shot um, I think it was yesterday and um, like I said I wanted to give her at least 15 days after her last shot to basically you know kind of recoup she has been eating she never refused food so she didn't lose any weight I just basically um, you know heard a little bit of wheezing and I jumped right on it and you know, basically got a cycling antibiotics for her before it mounted into a respiratory infection. So um, we are going to be bringing her in for a uh, for a um, up, to, you know, for a checkup basically at the vet before we uh, give her the okay to go ahead and breed. So as long as she gets cleared at the vet, guys, we'll be pairing her too. If not, she can always wait till next season. But again, guys, this is um, the male Nicaraguan. And uh, he is really, really, really trying to lock up here. And as you see, guys, here he goes again. And he's really trying to do his thing right now, guys, which is amazing. It's just truly awesome, guys. So don't forget to go down to the comments, guys. Leave your um, leave your guesstimated date on when you think one of my litters uh, will drop. And just leave your name, your date, either your phone number or your email. And if one of my boas litters drop on the date you picked, you'll be winning a free boa from that litter guy. So go to the comments. First off, subscribe, pound the like button, and go to the comments and leave your date, guys. And try to win yourself a free boa. And as you see, things are happening really, really good right here, guys. Things are going great. Things are going awesome. I couldn't ask for a better, um, basically, start and uh, basically midpoint of my season now. Everything that I wanted to happen is happening. I'm getting all the locks that I want. I'm getting, I've seen some full penetration. We've had already um, confirmed ovulation in a post-ovulation shed. So, uh, wow, guys. I just, I mean, it's truly amazing what's going on here at Ball and Boas. And, uh, you know, I appreciate all the, all the uh, support I've been getting from the very few subscribers that I have. But I told you guys to be witnessing some amazing and happenings here at Ball and Boas. And basically, guys, that's what's going on this breeding season. I mean, getting to see boa constrictors breed, you know, and 
it's, that's just a miracle, guys, just to be able to witness these um, graceful, spectacular reptiles breeding. I know it's not getting in to witness them breeding in their natural habitat, but just getting to witness them courting and breeding is, is just something truly spectacular, guys. And it's, um, you know, it's just something that I'll always keep with me for the rest of my life. And um, I'll probably do this to the day I can't do it anymore, guys. So I've always had a passion for snakes, and uh, this is something that I love. Look how long that tail is on that on that Nicaraguan male. I mean, it is just absolutely long and huge. He is a great breeder. All right, guys. Well, I'll um, let you guys go. And uh, as you see, these are the two breeding. And uh, Dottie over here is like, huh, I'm about to go in the shed. Hopefully, it's a POS shed. So I'm all done. I'm just going to sit here and watch. <laughs> oh, I think we might get a yawn out of her. Oh, wow, guys. Oh, not a big one. Just a little one. Just a little yawn. Sometimes she gives you a real, real big one. I love those real big ones. But, um, all right, guys. As you see, he's still attempting to walk up right there, and he's chasing her down, guys. She's trying to move over here, and as you see, he's uh, straddling her back right now, and um, he's basically not going to give up anytime soon, guys. Jesus, I could sit here and film this forever. And leave in the comments, guys. I was thinking about doing a live video and uh, going live for you guys so you guys can see this in real time, even though basically this is happening right now. And I will put this up probably a couple of minutes after I um, after we stop recording. I'm just going to download it right away. So you guys are almost seeing it in real time, maybe five, ten minutes after it actually happens. So, um you know, but I was thinking about going live for you guys this breeding season, especially if we start having some litters, guys. So leave in the comments if you'd, uh, you know, like to see ball and boas go live. And, um, you know, if you guys do, we'll, uh, we'll do a live video and see how that works out. But, um, all right, guys, just wanted to show you that we're having some more success here at ball and boas. And everything's going really, really well. And I'm super excited. And uh, again, I'm going to thank you for, uh, for all the support, guys, for the very few that do support us here. So hopefully, um, you know, you guys can spread the word and, uh, you know, we can get some other people to um, support us over here and, uh, you know, make things really, really great. I can't believe that we don't have more than 20 entries yet to the uh, BOA giveaway. But, um, you know, hopefully we will soon. So if you guys want to win a BOA... You guys know what to do, but all right, this is Mike from Ball and Boas saying peace.